We're going to create a height map based on this North Carolina map. In order to do that, we need to change some of these colors. The height map needs to have, at least for 3D Max, needs to have the brightest colors at the highest point and the darker colors at the lowest point. So we're going to come over here to this new canvas and we're going to create this gradient and we're going to start here with this side of the gradient double click our highest point is going to be yellow our lowest point is going to be black we need to set colors in between here so we're going to click in here double click and we'll go from yellow down And I'm gonna finish this gradient up and I'll be right back. Alright, now we got a semblance of a gradient here. Click OK and drag that over. And that'll give us something to, to pick our colors from as we're doing the map. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our light, our high color. And we're going to leave our foreground colors going to be yellow. Our background colors going to be black. That's going to be our lowest color. We'll come back over to our map. And we're going to zoom our map in so we can see what we're working with. So the first thing we're going to tackle are the low areas. That'll be these creeks, rivers, things like that. So we're going to come up to image. Adjustments replace color. And we're going to click on this blue so that's the color we're replacing and we want to replace that blue with black which is our background color. And notice that we've got some black in there now but it's not all black so our rivers and, and creeks are not all black so we can add some color so we click on this little add and click on another blue area and then we'll keep doing this clicking on our blue areas until we get almost all of it covered up alright once you've done that we need to move over make sure that we've got all these I'll finish this up and I'll be right back all right, I've got just about all of it covered, and that's the low spots. Now we're going to do the high spots the exact same way. Go to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color, and our high spots on this map are going to be this dark brown, so click that. We want to replace that with our yellow. We can come over here to our yellow. set our foreground color or we can just pick it from the picker set our color Make sure that we've got almost all of the dark brown. Click OK. We'll come back up and do the same thing for each of the colors, stepping down each time. So the next time it'll be light brown. We'll move that up and change it to a green color. And we'll keep going until all of it's changed from light to dark. I'll finish that up and I'll be right back. Once you spend a few minutes on that, you should end up with something similar to this, where you see the dark going to light, or mountains are yellow. 
The last thing we want to do before we save this picture is we're going to add a new layer and pull it below here. And on this layer, we're going to paint the layer black. And that's going to give us a, the absolute bottom, which is the ocean. Now we need to go up here and clean some of this up. So we got some white, which is a bright color. So we need to clean that up. I'm going to zoom in. And after we've zoomed in, we want to make sure we click the correct layer. And we'll go up to Image, Adjustments, Place Color. And change the white to black. And make sure your the fuzziness is turned up a little bit. Not too much, but that way it'll kind of blend in. Scroll over, make sure you've got all of this taken care of as well. So, so we're going to take this, we're going to save it, and then we're going to bring it into 3D Max and we'll work on it from there. So as you're saving it, save it as a Photoshop document. And then we can come back later and edit it if we need to. So we've got the Photoshop document edited. We're going to put it in a 3D Max. So we're going to draw a plane, and I've already put 150 length and width segments. That's a bunch, but it'll give us more detail that way. So we draw the plane out, and we'll go to our materials, and we're going to click the little box beside diffuse so that we can see what we're drawing here, and we'll go to bitmap. I'm going to go ahead and find this bitmap, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got that in here. We're going to drag and drop it. We're going to show shaded materials so we can see what's going on. Now we're going to go to our modifier list. We're going to select displace. And under displace, we're going to go pick the same bitmap. So I'm going to go grab it real quick. All right. We place that in there, and you can see it's in there. So up here on the strength, we're going to increase our strength. And you can see the plane growing. We'll rotate this around so you can see that a little bit better. You can see how our yellow is really high, and our dark blue is a little bit low. We've got a couple areas in here where we miss when we edited. And this can be used to create terrain for video games or for a scene that has mountains or valleys. 